Hello friends, welcome to VinMaps Studio. I'm Susie Prez, founder of VinMaps, wine lover, wine explorer, and today get ready to sachet. We are all about tasting through the sachet line of wines, which is of course the creation, brainchild, inspiration of Shea Frechette, co-owner, co-winemaker of Frechette Winery. Frechette Winery is a boutique, top quality producer out of the coveted Red Mountain Appalachian out of Eastern Washington State. And in our last video, well, I got the tremendous, the amazing opportunity to talk with and interview Shea Frechette. And the main topic was the sachet line, but we also talked about a lot of other interesting fascinating tidbits so you'll want to check that video out and the previous video prior to that I actually talked and um, tasted through a couple of wines from the main overall Frechette uh, label so stick around we're going to be tasting through these two beautiful wines the 2022 Rosea Merlot Sachet Rosea Merlot and the 2021 Reserve Syrah out of uh, completely made from wine grapes uh, from the Red Mountain Appalachian. Uh, thank you for joining me and let's get tasting. All right, let me get situated here. We're going to be pouring this lovely 2022 Sachet Rosea Merlot. And this is from the Columbia Valley's High River Vineyard. music to my ears all right first let's look at the gorgeous color here oh my goodness oh, it smells lovely okay I'm seeing a lot of definitely some peach tones on this from that extraction let's see if you can see that beautiful color and we are in September now, but it is still quite warm today in Western Washington, Western Washington where we are. Uh, it's about 82 degrees right now, so I'm a little bit parched. So I'm looking forward to tasting this. And even when I was interviewing Shay, uh, the, the way that she was talking about the wines, just I was getting thirsty then. So let's get into this. Definitely getting some strawberry notes. Even macerated strawberry. Uh, just deep, uh, lovely, complex, even um, some macerated peach as well for me. Everyone has a different experience with wine, so no one really has, there's no wrong way to taste wine, actually. Okay, let's taste. Mm. It has a little bit more depth and complexity, although it's still very light and what you would expect from a rosé. Perfect for the backyard barbecue scene with your girlfriends, your BFFs, or uh, with family, friends. And you know, you could easily bring this to the upcoming holiday season too, Thanksgiving and, and so on and so forth. Definitely very, something very celebratory about this. And definitely some, a um, little bit of stone fruits, strawberry, different berries. Um, nice acidity going there. It's still very light and dry. So easily pairable with various foods, I can imagine, but perfect on its own. And this is 13.5 ABV, and as I say, out of the High River Vineyard, Columbia Valley. And 220 cases of this were produced, so get up while you can. And uh, she likes to put a little bit of oak on this, is what she was saying as well. So uh, very, very good, very refreshing. I'm perfect right now, so I'm quite warm. Ah, 
Delicious. Okay. We're going to be tasting through pouring and tasting through the Syrah next. All right, you guys, next we are pouring the 2021 Reserve Syrah, Sachet Reserve Syrah. And this is completely sourced from the coveted Red Mountain American Viticultural Area out of Washington State's Eastern Washington area, Columbia Valley. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, that is gorgeous. <sighs> and this is completely sourced from the Red Heaven Vineyard, and I must say it does smell like heaven. <sighs> okay, so, and let's look at the color. We swirl a little bit. All right, deep dark ruby. <laughs> Gorgeous color on this. Oh my gosh. Check it out, guys. And I can see those legs. <laughs> So this, as I say, is out of the Red Mountain Appalachians Red Heaven Vineyard. And let's see, 14.7 alcohol by volume. And about 125 cases of this were produced. So get it while you can again. She likes to put a, about 20 months, uh, likes to do 20 months of uh, French oak aging on this. And, well, I can already smell the deliciousness. Definitely some deep, dark plum coming at me. Um, a little bit of blueberry, uh, some dark cherry notes. Some tannins I can sense there. Uh, those legs are <laughs> beckoning, okay. On the nose and on the palate, definitely those roasting spices as well. Full body, medium to full body, I would say. Beautiful tannin structure, well balanced. Um, gorgeous flavor, flavors and textures going on here, very complex, and this will continue to open up further. Mm. Yeah, this would be great to take to a friend's for um, celebration, birthday, or for the holidays. I can imagine, it's just beautiful. And um, you could easily pair this with um, barbecue foods and other foods as well, because it has that medium to full body, but it's Got a nice uh, flavor profile where it's not going to overpower a lot of different foods as well. But also, like the rosé, this one, you could be quite content to just sip on its own on your back patio on a um, harvest, a fall harvest evening with the string lights going and all of that. So crickets humming. <laughs> And with that, that brings us to our conclusion of this tasting. But I would like to read the back of the label because she does say, Shay says, you gotta read the back of the label. Okay, y'all, donning some highly attractive eyewear here. But I wanted to read it from the label, actually. Okay, this is what the back of the label says. Sachet by Frechette 2022 Rosé, and it's also on the Syrah. You are strong. You are courageous. You are fierce. You have the ability to create positive change in this world. So lift your chin, push your shoulders back, and sachet, girl, sachet. And with that, hope you all sash sachet a little bit there at home. <laughs> and thank you so much for joining me today in this exploration of the sachet line and 
we do appreciate, adore uh, your support and love, likes, comments, and subscribes. Thank you so much for joining me again, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.